In this video, I will be showing you how to create an HTML image map using GIMP. Basically, an image map is an image embedded on a page, that's this code here, with some map code which tells portions of the image to be clickable links. So if I click on the sun, it gets me to one page, and these two planets get me to different pages. Now, you could go coding this manually, but GIMP has a built-in filter which does it for you. So opening GIMP, and dragging in my image. I will have a rectangle link up here for the text, a circular link, even though it's not an exact circle, you can't do ellipses, and a polygon. Those are the only three shapes you can do in an image map. Go to Filters, Web, and Image Map. This window should pop up, and I'm gonna start with my rectangle. So click for the upper left point, and drag and then click again to finish your selection. Uncheck this relative link if you're going to an exact web page such as Google and you don't need to worry about these as long as you copy the HTTP colon slash slash and removed relative link this will automatically figure out which kind you want. If you want to embed an image map in an iframe, which itself is on another page, and you want the links in the image map to open in that frame, not on the regular page, you'll need to specify the target ID or name right here. And alternate text is if your link or picture doesn't display. Right here is the pixel coordinates of your two points for your rectangle. This is editable, or you could use the mouse tool here. You can have JavaScript statements execute on mouse over and mouse out. And to be HTML compatible or old versions, you could do that. And clicking OK, you see you have a link right here. And you click on it, then go to the mouse tool. You could drag this bigger or smaller. For my next link, I'll use the circle tool and click about at the center. Drag out to where you want it and click to finish. I'll be using a relative link this time. I have a sample page right here. And since that sample page is in the same directory as my image and the page that I'm going to insert the image map in, I can just type a regular relative link. Sample.html since it's in the same directory. And if you know anything about linking, if it was in a subfolder, you'd have to type the folder name and a slash that tells you to go down and if it was up one folder dot dot slash gets you up since it's in the same and I do want to keep this relative link this will get me to the page I want same for circle and here's your coordinates for your center and the radius editable but you could always use this again and JavaScript you have a second link over here since my final one is a weird shape I'll just use the polygon tool you click each consecutive point you want try to go around the shape and I'm just clicking at my points remember not to have the shapes overlap or there'll be confusion not too perfect but when you want to finish double click and uncheck relative link and I'm using a Wikipedia example you can edit these points manually just click OK now you have three links and when you want to save this code GIMP will not generate an image it will usually want to generate a file with a dot map extension but you could change this to HTML right now and that will work too So here is the map code, and you could open it in Notepad on Windows, which is a basic text editor. But I prefer Notepad++ since it has color coding. Here's the code that is generated. As you can see, you have an area, a rectangle shape, and the coordinates, and the link. And here's the circle, coordinates, and sample link. And then the polygon has many more points. Right here are a bunch of HTML comments generated by GIMP. Comments are not rendered in the page. They're just, if you view the source, you'll see them. So if you look, that code is not actually there. 
so you are safe to delete them even though it says you don't here's the image and then the use map tells you you want to use this map copy this code and paste it into the page you like save the file and if I run it in a browser we have three working links one to Google one to my sample page and one to Wikipedia you don't really need any HTML knowledge just remember don't have the shapes overlap or they'll be confused